Oh yeah, there's lots of rattlesnakes and illegals. So check your blind for rattlesnakes and illegals. Illegal. Oh. First Texas boat kill. Close but no cigar. It is a Kia, but it's not a Kia Soul. All right, we're off. We got the invite from my buddy, uh, Levi Morgan. He's hunted down here a handful of times. I, this is definitely not our normal deal. Uh, it's definitely not our door knocking gig, but when the invite was extended and they were like, just get here, I was like, uh, okay. So we booked a flight, got a rental car, headed down to meet Levi and hunting. Dude, a place that don't even seem real, apparently. It's like, I did. The, the amount of huge deer that they have on this place and that we are going to see is ridiculous. We're not here for those. We're here for like a, a good management buck. We're in the Golden Triangle of Texas. It's a low fence place. The Golden Triangle might be like the best whitetail country in the world. We are going to see some giants. Hey, buddy. Yeah, dude, Texas. Walmart's for hunting and fishing selection, worst I've ever seen. It's terrible. Like, big shocker. I'm pretty sure I was the first person to buy a license in this place all the hunting season. Surely they'll have like Windicator because I'm out. Well, I asked for a hunting license and she said salt water or fresh water. Both. I don't know. Just want to hunt here. For those of you that don't know, Levi's like, I mean, he's like the, arguably the world's greatest archer, correct? Yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna challenge him to one arrow mm -hmm. because he'll beat me 99 times out of 100, but there's always that one chance. <laughs> I just need one arrow. Oh. I thought I'd look cool, you know, putting them in my back pocket like these guys, but apparently I just can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it really yeah, back I'm just not there yet, guys. <laughs> really backfired on you there. Let me show y'all how it's not done. Dude, I'm a hair low. I, yeah, I know I can't beat you in a group. That's just not even a question. But what I want to do is challenge you to just one arrow, okay, 60 yards. Okay. Like now? Like right now. All right. Next arrow. Next arrow. Yeah. And I'm going right. to prove to the world what punching the trigger with the hand release or with a wrist release is really about versus y'all's <laughs> fancy little click things. <laughs> this one's for my average Joes out there still shooting wrist straps out there. Low middle? Sure. Okay. Oh no, I left a wide open door. I, mean, I was really nervous. Like, I was actually shaking pretty bad. It's second arrow. He called me second arrow. Yeah, second arrow. Yeah. One arrow. No, I said two. <laughs> I said two arrows. We're about to watch well, that back. <laughs> yeah, all right, so that was practice. This is, practice the, this is the actual was... arrow. Oh. oh. It, it was one arrow, but it was the second arrow. It was the second, the second arrow. arrow. All right. Oh man, you're really in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the one that actually. This counts. is the okay, money one. <sighs> Dude, I'm just choking big time. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do. We'll shoot it left-handed. I'll tell you what's gonna happen is if you do beat me going left-handed, this is not making the final edit. I'm gonna say he's just gonna hold left. <laughs> Where did he go? Right above his. So I beat him? Like touch him. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, you beat me. <laughs> that really backfired. I let down all my wrist wrist release guys out there pretty bad. So what I've realized shooting my bow is in transport from the airport. 
I think my side got knocked off a little bit. Suiting up a little bit low, made an adjustment. So I'm really digging through my excuse box to just get another round in. Levi, one arrow, let's go. <laughs> we'll just, basically we're just gonna go until I win one time. Okay, and then you're gonna air that one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Low middle. Low middle, all right. Beat him 30 to 50. Here's Mr. Yeah. That's a good shot. Play the right. Little right. Whatever it was. Being power five school in that championship and the rest of the time being like, we're going to run the clock. Mm. Yeah, let's do that again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, right. go, we'll go low right. Low right. All right. That was just a choke artist. Next round, you don't have to shoot an arrow, we'll just go to the next round. <laughs> All right, low left. I can feel it. A loss is coming for me. That's a good shot. Top ish of the dot. I'm just He's in there good then. Yeah, I'm just putting pressure on you. Fired a little weak. Yeah, let's go look at that one. <laughs> that one's pretty close. And it's going to be close. Yeah, I got you, buddy. I think you did. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you know. <laughs> no measurement. That's no, good. I mean. I, I think you do. I think you got it. Yeah. We're going to call it. Are we going to talk about these? No, don't look at those. Wait, wait. What about this one? That was a misfire. What we learned? Uh, we're still learning. Yeah, I'm not sure what I learned today, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I think it's to stay inside. What we learned was Lee's a sore loser. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, there's lots of rattlesnakes and illegals. So check your blind for rattlesnakes and illegals. Illegals. Oh. Um, kind of out of my scope for so normal. My <laughs> no, it's normally homeless people. Yeah, it was. De I would say <laughs> definitely homeless people. We can do that. So that's that's sniper. This one here with a split two, big right. frame. He's a mainframe nine with a split G two on one side. Yep. And that's boomer. Clean right. straight ten. He does yep. have a G five bump out on the left end of his main beam. Okay. Hammer, old deer, seven eight yeah. years old. Jeez. And that's Mr. Big. He's gonna pull it up on there. That's the only picture I've got saved on my he phone. Looks old. His rights. He's super old. Yeah. He's probably eight. Those deer are big. I was expecting like coal buck. I, I guess those are coal bucks. Coal I don't bucks. Know. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever they're. I'm, I'm, eight, I'm coal guy. I'll eight, be coal guy. Eight nine years old. Oh my gosh. So this is our first sit in South Texas. This is so unlike any hunting style I've ever done before. But I'd like to, I mean, this is pretty customary to how hunting deer is in South Texas. We've got a, uh, which I didn't even really know that deer ate this, basically a, a giant cottonseed bale in front of us that these deer have been eating on. It's apparently super high in protein. Like I said, this is my first time. Y'all are kind of along for this first experience for me. Pretty good, 
Thank you. 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 We just got set in the blind. There's javelinas out in front of us right now. And I have been given the green light to fire away. So if they hang around and the sun comes up, I'm definitely gonna send one down range. We're gonna hop out, recover this javelina. I'm pretty sure that it crashed right there. Probably gonna gra grab some breakfast and then I think that we're gonna get in the bush. This is the part I've been looking forward to <laughs> is to get in the bush and rattle. Saw another one of the hit listers this morning, but just, I mean, kind of hanging to the left and he just, I don't know if he just, he just had other plans, just went away. I think he- That's right there. Oh. Right, like, really? right where we heard it fall, that was it. <laughs> well, they didn't want it. Dude, they're tiny. Dude, yeah, they're, they're little. Are. I mean, they're like, dude, they're like giant guinea pigs. <laughs> that is my first javelina ever. That's my first time ever seeing a javelina. Dude, that would mess you up. They got some freaking cutters, man. Yeah. And you could obviously tell that there was no deer around for a while. No, I, yeah, I, that's around. that's what they've made pretty clear is that these javelinas, like when they're around, they run the deer off. Which, which, you know, kind of similar back home in Georgia. It's like when you got a bunch of pigs out there, they kind of rule the roost over the deer. First Texas bow kill. Avelina on the board. I think it's probably like too late in the day. The plan was originally to get out early in the morning. We got kind of sidetracked back at camp. Our good friend Jerry has laid the yellow brick road for us in front of our blind. Starting about 20 yards, going out to 40. Next to the old bale of cottonseed. And apparently they've been seeing a lot of deer in this spot. I think like three or four different, like old, mature shooters. So I'm probably more than positive we're gonna see some big deer tonight. Whether or not it'll be one of the shooters that we can shoot and whether or not we can get a shot is kind of the game here. But judging by how the last two sets have gone, we're gonna see something big tonight for sure. Okay. 
Okay, she'll turn. I can get a shot on her. She's not going far. I don't think she's far. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah. Pretty good doe. That was one of the bigger ones we saw tonight. For sure. Thank you, sir. Avelina down, doe down. Tonight was fun. We put meat on the table. Pretty and I'm always about that, man. I, I love shooting does just as much as I love shooting anything. Is that a doe or is that a butt deer? I was shot, accidentally shot like a 180. <laughs> <laughs> thought it was a doe? Yeah. Shot, thought it was a shot, doe right. yesterday, shot a buck. I, I think I saw a true cold buck tonight. Okay. I was pretty pumped about it. Okay. But mm -hmm. Shot a doe. All right. Saw a pile of other deer. Um, we had one of the shooters come in yesterday morning. I only saw him as he was running off. But it's a shooter they call Ace, and they're saying he's like really, really old. So we're back in here this morning, back after that deer. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's Ace. Right dead ahead and behind the cactuses.
we got one evening more one more evening sit um, not sure what the plan will be if we could somehow sit one more morning here dude we could sit in this pond dam by that bush and catch ace as he's hitting that back trail out he's done it twice hey, hey there he is we gotta go find him we got the dog. <laughs> yeah right <laughs> yeah well it's not a picture already so yeah is that we the one up. that's the one y'all been after yeah heck oh, yeah there he is. <laughs> yeah he uh oh that deer's awesome yeah he's very cool that's a stud drop yeah. time mm -hmm. i don't know what's going on yet but I'm probably gonna dunk on levi's face i know that putting on the air jordans yep <laughs> it's time levi one shot one shot no one shot <laughs> one shot yeah one shot everybody knows is this like the First one Wait. shot right here, first person to make it. This dirt cloth. First Don't person to make it. Alright. Yeah. Ten dollars, first person to make it. Ooh, mm. not bad. Okay. <laughs> not, great, so I'm good, not a good start, mm. Oh mm. no touch. Yeah. Ooh, mm. not butter. Bad. Only. All right. Beat him in archery, beat him in basketball. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> Levi's a thumbnail. <laughs> Levi like this. We got a game plan, boys. <clears throat> Delayed our flight, get one more morning set. We're going after Ace, and we're gonna set up in the brush, just in the mesquite, and try and catch him on this back trail that he's come out the last two mornings. And uh, he actually hit a scrape, kind of right on the corner there. So we're gonna hide back in some of that brush, see if, if he does the same thing that he's been doing. We got a good wind, might be in the right position to have it go down, but this is 100% our last set because we've got to get back to Georgia. But I'm excited to try something different, dive in the brush. Just try to tuck in right here. Yeah. I might see A's.
he just went down. I hit him high, but it's as long as he was just crashed right there. See him right there laying? Laying on top, yeah. Dead. <laughs> yes, dude. I'm shaking like crazy, dude. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that worked. I mean, <clears throat> tucked in the brush right here. And this is the place that we've had two encounters with Ace. Wind was bad for the blind we were sitting. This has been the exit trail that they've been taking. They've been hitting a scraper right on the corner. It's like, let's make a change. I know this is Texas style hunting, but we feel like we put a little bit of Southern draw on it there. Man, dude, I hit that deer high. Yeah, I, I, I hit him high. I mean, I, I think I actually deflected off some brush. It's like, I, dude, I was trying to like clear some stuff, but as low as we were, I mean, I was literally like this, and I'm like, you know, trying to like get back to here. And I think I just, yeah, I mean, look. Oh, yeah. That's what I hit right there, it skipped up. But, he go. Dude, what a deer. We wanted to add a little drama to it all. We wanted to start with a javelina, yeah. step it up with a doe, last morning, end it with a buck. Dude, this deer is pretty, man. Perfect management buck, like a perfect management buck, which it's crazy I'm sitting behind this deer and even calling it a management buck. But like, let me be clear, this is like the most extreme end of like top end management. I mean, this, the golden triangle down here, like, they're saying it's something to do with this red dirt and this soil. It just produces some of the largest whitetails literally on planet Earth. But I want, at the end of the day, I want to be able to say that I've tried a little bit of everything. I've experienced a lot of different things in uh, South Texas experience. One I'll never forget for sure. Hey, heard you missed. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> These Texas deer can move pretty quick. Holy smokes, dude. Yeah. <clears throat> He's cool looking. He's been rubbing on cactuses. Yeah. Heavy. Yeah. We had this deer in front of us two nights ago. That's what Jake said. And so we were that sitting Avalina? there this morning. Yeah. We were sitting there this morning at Boneyard looking for Ace. He was a no-show. And this deer popped out and we saw him like across the drained pond. And then he ended up falling an eight pointer in, but <clears throat> it was like perfect. Perfect? Yeah, hiding in the mesquite bushes. But last morning. Last morning, delayed the flight. There you go. Worked out. That's awesome, dude. Well, thank you. I know I owe Mr. Keith a huge thank you too. Yeah, he's so one Mr. that makes Keith, it happen. If you're watching, at home, thank you. Well, dude, I'm just really glad appreciate you came. it. It's an unforgettable experience. I'm glad Texas, your first Texas experience was good. I, I mean, I was fully content, heart full, going home with a javelina and a dog. <laughs> I was good. I was like, ah, let's let's we, delay the flight, try and get, give Ace one more try. And this is better. Old black face rolled in. That's cool, man. So, Great job. Couldn't have worked out more perfect. Now I'm going to beat you in one more competition before All we right. leave.